50 years ago, I stood right here in this spot, 23 years old, had all of my hair and a few pounds lighter. So I come back here again to say that those days, for the most part, are gone. But we have another fight. We must stand up and fight the good fight as we march today. For there are forces, there are people who want to take us back. We cannot go back. We come too far. We want to go forward. Back in 1963, hundreds and thousands and millions of our brothers and sisters could not register to vote. When I stood here 50 years ago, I said, one man, one vote is the African cry. It is ours too. It must be ours. I also said, some people tell us to wait, tell us to be patient. I said 50 years later, we cannot wait. We cannot be patient. We want jobs and we want our freedom now. All of us, it doesn't matter whether we're black or white, Latino, Asian American or Native American. It doesn't matter whether we're straight or gay. We're one people, we're one family, we're one house. We all live in the same house. So I said to you, my brothers and sisters, we cannot give up. We cannot give out. We cannot give in. We must get out there and push and pull. Now, I, a few short years ago, almost 48 years ago, well, 48 years ago, almost 50 years ago, I gave a little blood on that bridge in Selma, Alabama, for the right to vote. I am not going to stand by and let the Supreme Court take the right to vote away from us. You cannot stand by. You cannot sit down. You got to stand up, speak up, speak out, and get in the way. Make some noise. The vote is precious. It is almost sacred. It is the most powerful, nonviolent tool we have in a democratic society, and we got to use it. Back in 1963, we hadn't heard of the internet. We didn't have a cellular telephone, my iPad, our part. But we used what we had to bring about a nonviolent revolution. And I said to all of the young people, you must get out there and push and pull and make America what America should be for all of us. We must say to the Congress, Fix the voting rights act. We must say to the Congress, pass comprehensive immigration reform. It doesn't make sense that millions of our people are living in the shadow. Bring them out into the light and set them on a path to citizenship. So hang in there. Keep the faith. I got arrested 40 times during the 60s, beaten, left bloody, and unconscious. But I'm not tired, I'm not weary, I'm not prepared to sit down and give up. I am ready to fight and continue to fight, and you must fight. Thank you very much.